We are answering the ultimate question. How much can you do in one day at Disney's Animal Kingdom? But we're putting it to the test in a head-to-head -head challenge. Yeah, and you're going down. I'm gonna win. No, I'm gonna win. Good morning, friends. Uh, we are about 10 minutes away from the park opening for non-resort guests. If you didn't know, if you're staying at a participating Disney hotel, you can actually partake in something called early entry, which is when you get into the parks about 30 minutes early. That is not us today, so we're coming in around 8 o'clock. I was going to attempt to rope drop Flight of Passage. My Disney experience was saying it was an hour before rope drop, um, so I'm gonna... <laughs> see what that looks like. Luckily, my first lightning lane I made for the day was Navi River Journey, and it starts right now. So even if the line looks too long, I'll go over there, tap in for that one, and then make another lightning lane. Now I will say, honestly, Flight of Passage will probably be over an hour all day. That's It's the most popular ride in this park, no question. It's gonna have long wait times. So if I have to wait for it no matter what, I might do a different rope drop strategy, which we've never really done before, but we'll see. We're playing, we're playing it by ear. Emma got here a touch before me, so I'm not really sure where she is right now. I assume ahead of me, um, but I don't know. Rope drop crowds are confusing. I am headed to Pandora World of Avatar, but not to go where you might think. I'm actually going to rope drop Navi River Journey this morning, which I know what you're thinking. Really? When Flight of Passage is right there? But hear me out. One of the rules of this challenge is that we can have either Genie Plus or an individual lightning lane of our choice. We usually go Genie Plus. I usually go Genie Plus. That's usually more helpful. But in this instance, I'm already out of breath. Whew. In this instance, I know that in the past, it's been a better call to use individual lightning lane on Flight of Passage so you don't have to use an hour of your rope drop doing that. And then use your rope drop on other attractions to get through everything, it might be the wrong call and I might regret it later. I think for now, it could be interesting to try. Okay friends, we've made it into Pandora, the Valley of Mawara, and I don't know. I'm a little torn because right now it is saying it's a 70 minute wait. And so that could be true, that could also not be true. So I'm gonna see what the line looks like and try to make my best judgment. I do have a fear that it's legitimately 70 and frankly, I just think, you know, it'll probably be that throughout the day. Maybe it'll get up to 90, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, no, if we're turning around here, I think I'm okay. Oh, I think I might be all right. I'm gonna stay. Fingers crossed it works out all right. So while the majority of the crowd swung to the right towards Avatar Flight of Passage, I'm heading to the left here to go to Navi River Journey. Now, Navi River Journey is a slow-moving dark ride through the rivers of Pandora. It's a very beautiful dark ride, but relatively boring. The sort of most exciting element of it is the shaman animatronic at the end, which is a really cool, huge animatronic. Uh, this one typically has hour-long waits for most of the day. It is included on Genie Plus, so that's a great way to ride this. But if you're doing what I'm doing, you can buy Flight of Passage as an individual lightning lane which by the way is cheaper than Genie Plus. It was only $14 today by the, the individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage, where uh, Genie and Animal Kingdom is usually starting around $15. So we got Flight of Passage. We're gonna walk right on, more or less. It's a 15 minute posted, which makes me think it might be a walk on to Navi River Journey. Usually right around rope drop, those wait times aren't as accurate as they are the rest of the day because Disney kind of just has to give their best guess until guests actually fill in the queue. So as you can see, this whole queue that we usually wait through is empty, empty, empty. Five minutes and we're on the boat. Alright, it is 8.27 and we're already towards the back of the first inside room. We're trucking, but I know that Quincy's doing a different rope drop strategy. I don't know exactly what she's doing and I already feel not great about this, but I get to use Genie for other things. So I don't know. Both are not bad. For, here for Animal Kingdom, we're obviously testing today to see what will be the best, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous. Alright, I am 
gonna dip out of Pandora now because I do have my flight of passage lane for later and there's nothing else to do here and head to Africa. I am having a magical moment. I've been walking on this beautiful path to between Pandora and Africa. It's off to the side. It's by the water. The way the light comes through in the morning is so beautiful. Typically I'm in line for a flight of passage at this time so I don't see this beautiful morning light. But I'm walking by on this empty path. I literally am passing the one family I passed right now. And otherwise it's just the most beautiful walking path ever, probably. So that's been pretty cool. And we're almost to Africa. I have not made it into the dark room yet. And I'm realizing now this was a horrible idea. Now we might call this a rides race because it sounds a little better, but it's really more of an attractions race. So I'm passing Festival of Lion King right now. Those shows don't start until a little later, but Festival of the Lion King and all the other shows here that have a seat or a wait um, do count today. Also what counts for us are characters. You know from our last rides race that when we finish riding everything, seeing every character, seeing every show, you're allowed to do re-rides to get more points. We are not doing that today. It is just the first time you ride something that gets a point and that way you have to be a little more strategic about getting those shows and character meet and greets that close a little earlier. All right, we found some people again. Uh, most people are headed this direction to head to Kilimanjaro Safaris. This is my favorite ride in this park, one of my favorites in all of Disney World because it is kind of like a legitimate safari. You drive through the recreation of the African savanna as well as other environments and see real animals living out their day, which is so, so cool. It's a 15 minute posted wait. This is another one that tends to hang out above an hour unless it rains. Now that said, I do actually recommend riding it if it does rain, uh, even though it might seem counterintuitive. If it's not lightning, you can still ride this ride and the animals actually like the rain. So they might be a little more active. This habitat has a, a couple, several, but uh, mostly an actual couple of uh, dancing crested cranes. I think that's what they're called. Um, as well as the tortoise, who's over there in a wake. I've never seen him awake. But they have a nest right now. And yes, that is a real nest. Those are eggs that those birds actually laid. Uh, and they are actually incubating under the mama. I think the mama. I don't know. Maybe the dad sits on them. 8.47 and I'm finally in the forest. <laughs> I feel so silly, but it's okay. believe it's taken this long I really can't but you know what I, I took a gamble it did not pay off the, I will say where I got in line I was a little bit surprised that it's taking this long but it's okay it's all fine and we get to see the cool animatronic up here big blue so it's fine okay I am off Kilimanjaro Safaris very very active safari almost I saw almost every animal like in every exhibit that's probably not true but lots of animals the lions were asleep but asleep where I could see them very well and sleeping lions are cute so um, now I think we're gonna do something that would be wild in any other park but uh, we're in the wildest park so that was kind of a silly joke don't let me get away with that all right now even though it looks like i'm having a very very successful morning this is not always the right decision if you do not want to pay for that individual lightning lane for flight of passage there are two times that you want to ride it and that's either immediately immediately at rope drop or in the evening last thing before the park closes now typically a lot of people treat animal kingdom as a half day park which means they're not here when the park closes. So if you don't want to pay for that individual lightning lane, then you're going to want to head to Flight of Passage. First, 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 first thing. That's going to be the shortest wait. Even if it's an hour, it'll be two hours later. So, ooh, a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. Sounds good. No time to stop. Did I go the wrong place? Do I know how to get around Animal Kingdom? Have I ever been here before? Okay, I finally have been divided up to head into the linking chamber and it's literally right at an hour. It is 9.03 and I got in line at 8.04-ish. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi Rite of Passage. 
flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. Oh my gosh, I'm like a being of light. Ah, what's happening? Adjust on my face. We're going to meet Moana. So this really is more of an attraction challenge. Characters do count, but it has to be a character you wait in line to see and actually like meet and greet with, not like someone floating by on a boat. So we're headed to see Moana today. Moana is probably the most popular meet and greet in all of Disney World. Uh, she typically has hour plus multi-hour waits. And if you want to meet her, the shorter wait, the time to go is like first thing when she comes out in the morning. This morning that was 9.15 a.m. You can find out all the character meet and greet times, including Moana's, in the My Disney Experience app on the day of your trip at midnight. But, you know, usually that means in the morning on the bus from your resort you can check it out. But we are headed to meet Moana. Hopefully this is a super long line. It's definitely going to be the last thing of our rope drop, I think. But uh, I've never met her. Well, I have met her. I actually met Moana in Disneyland. Um, but I haven't met her over here since she's kind of made her way Disney World side. So I'm pretty excited to see this meet and greet. Okay, I have a decision to make because Moana comes out at 9.30. It's currently 9. I could be one of the first to see her, but I might be able to get on Dinosaur really fast. All right, I'm seeing a lot of people get in line. So I'm going to head down to Discovery River Landing and get in line for Moana here. Um, I'm seeing people walk in, so it's just, I don't want to wait super, super long for a character meet and greet later, so I think this is the right call. Right, Flight of Passage is so much fun. It's a flight simulation ride. You get to ride on the back of a Banshee, and it is the most popular ride here, so it, it took a while, but we have, I moved my first lightning lane for the day, so we've got a little bit of time to run over there to make it to the end of my river journey. Lightning Lane, and then we'll be done here, which is kind of good because then we don't have to come back. So it took a long time. It's fine. We're trucking. Disney is all about being flexible, and that's what I'm doing right now being flexible. It's fine. Okay, we are going to head over to the Navi River Journey, which is a slow moving uh, boat ride in the dark, and it's really incredible. It's super beautiful, and unfortunately, it does get pretty long lines. I will say, I don't think it's worth a long line, but I do think it's worth a Genie Plus Lightning Lane. So it was my first choice this morning. Also, Flight of Passage is up to a 105 minute wait. So even though I waited an hour, it probably still was the better decision for me long term. So it's fine. Now let's hope we make it before this lightning lane is over. I'm booking it. Somewhere. You lost your chicken? Yeah, his name is Hey Hey, and he mm. thinks he got lost a lot, but there's kind of an excuse. He ate all of my build snacks and then went running to find more. Oh, well that'll do it. That I mean, that'll do it. And I hear there's a lot of snacks out Tons there. Tons of snacks. So, so he's, do you have any on you today? Uh, not on me, but I, maybe I'll get some and then I'll try to lure Hey Hey, and, that's a, and I can lead him back here. That, well, that'd be okay. Oh, I'm sure I'm so he's glad. nice, yeah. <laughs> All right, it was about a 20 minute wait for me for Moana, which is um, not bad for her at all, especially because this line is certainly starting to stack up. Um, it looks like it's not as bad as it was when she first opened, which is good, but Moana is a very, very, very popular character. The kiddos love her and character meet and greet lines move a little slower because the characters spend a lot of time giving each family, each kiddo their special moment. So. Uh, just keep in mind when you get in the character line, even if there's not that many people in front of you, it might move a little sore. All right, we have made it to Dinosaur. Dinosaur is a very scary ride. It's a thrill attraction where you sit in kind of like a very shaky, relatively fast vehicle. It's not a roller coaster. It's just a very turbulent ride. Read these warning signs. Uh, they mean it, they're serious. It's only a five minute wait right now, which is great for us uh, because that's pretty much a walk on. Uh, this attraction will usually get up around an hour, like a 45 minute to an hour long wait, a little later in the day. Um, so it's good for us to kind of get it out of the way now since we're trying to get through so much. I don't recommend waiting longer than 20 minutes for Dinosaur just because even on busy days, it does tend to drop lower than that if you wait a little later in the day. Um, 
but it's a very fun ride. I do recommend it. It's one of my favorites because it is the only ride that I actually get scared on in Disney World. Um, but keep that in mind. It's the only ride I get scared on. It's scarier than Tower of Terror. And I know a lot of people, a lot of my friends do not like it for that reason. Okay, we made it literally within one minute of the grace period ending. Um, if you don't know, there is a 15 minute grace period after your Genie Lightning Lane ends. It kind of works the same way with reservations, things like that. I'm so glad though that I have a Genie for this because this is a 50 minute wait and I'm not doing that. Navi River Journey, super fun, honestly very beautiful. Now I will say for my next lightning lane, I made an interesting choice and I made a lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie because they're gonna count as two points for our total and for our goals today. Also their line can get super long and weirdly enough, their lightning lane was one of the furthest out. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's in the next like 20 minutes. Um, so we're gonna head over that way after I go meet Moana. So I'm gonna utilize this kind of time before my lightning lane starts to go meet Moana, and then we're gonna go tap in. Hopefully Moana won't be too bad. So if you didn't already know, Moana joined us here in Animal Kingdom just a few months ago, and if you want to find her, her lines can get a little bit long, although it's not as bad as it initially was. Uh, she is over here, right next to the entrance of Dinoland USA and Flame Tree Barbecue but it can be kind of easy to miss. I'll show you where that's at. Here she is, character landing. She'll be here from 9.30 to four today. Hi. And hopefully this won't be too bad. Kevin's walking by, but I've just cruised over just kind of right down the way from Dinoland to Adventurer's Outpost. This is the meet and greet spot for Mickey and Minnie. So it's a great, great must do if you're in Animal Kingdom, if you want to meet Mickey and Minnie. Not the best place to meet them in the parks, uh, just because it does tend to have a longer line. As you can see, it is 50 minutes right now, but I know it's only gonna stay at that or go up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and swallow this as one of my longer waits of the day as we head into Me, Mickey, and Minnie. I don't know if this is gonna be 50 minutes. It might be, but I don't know. I think I've waited less than that and longer than this. Oh, this is the best meet and greet because they're in safari outfits. Hello. Do you like them? Yeah. yeah. I love them. Does that mean you're a shapeshifter though? I wish, but no. Just for the day, like an oh. accessory. <gasps> did Maui help you out with that trick? He, he did, actually. He does all the time. He has all those powers in his hug. Of course. I wonder where you would store your powers if you had them to shapeshift. Um, maybe, I don't know. Like, maybe my necklace? necklace? Yeah. yeah. That I sounds like that like idea. Well, shiny necklaces have gotten me in some trouble in the past. But it's true. They led me to my friend Tamatoa. I was going to say, it all works out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> eventually convinced him to become more of a treasure hunter and oh, maybe collect yeah. things that don't belong to other people. Yeah, I like I think that. that's a much better idea, don't yeah, you? Absolutely. Yeah. So as long as you don't throw your necklace in the water, you'll be fine. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Hi, Minnie. I'm doing good. You guys look so cute in your safari outfits. We only we waited an hour, but we thought we would wait an hour anyways, and I'm right about to hit the very end. It's almost time for my lightning lane to end, but luckily I'm right here. So I'm gonna rush over there, utilize a little bit of my grace period, make another lightning lane, and then maybe the day will start going better. I don't know. Okay, met Mickey and Minnie. It was a delight. They are so sweet. They just put a smile on my face every time. Um, now I'm in a little bit of a crisis because I may have goofed. I completely forgot about the existence of Cali River Rapids. And I was living a joyous, a joyous life where I did not know it existed. Um, Cause Cal River Rapids is definitely not my favorite ride. It's actually my least favorite ride in all of Disney World. Um, and I don't even hate water rides. We'll talk a little bit more about why I don't like it so much, but I do need to ride it today. It is a 45 minute wait right now. It's 10.53. And it is only going to get hotter, which means it's only going to get a longer line over there cause it is a water ride. 
No part of me wants to wait 45 minutes for Cali River Rapids, but I don't have Genie Plus because I used my thing on my individual lightning lane. So I think I might have to do it right now. And I don't want to wait 45 minutes to think it's soaking wet. There's definitely a chance Cali River Rapids could stay open later, but because we're not doing re-rides and there are limited experiences in this park, if we both complete everything, it will come down to who did it the fastest. And I don't want to have to wait a super long line and put me over with Cali River Rapids. So here I go, I guess. All right, I have finally made it to over to the Adventurer's Outpost. Um, have a lighting lane for it no matter what, but it's saying 35, we'll see. Oh, you like the Kermit I have? He's pretty cute. He's an adventurer kind of like you guys. Likes to go a lot of places with me. He does play, He yeah, he tries out a lot of stuff. <laughs> you like the ears too? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Can we take a picture together? It just occurred to me I've never waited in the standby line for this ride. Not once. And I have been on this ride but I always use Genie because I don't like this ride and I don't want to wait for it. Um, and I've never done any videos that have me do the standby line. And if I don't have Genie, I would never ride this. So this is the first time I've ever waited for this like this. On the bright side, I'm seeing Disney theming. I've literally only seen in our YouTube videos when somebody else has gone to Cali River Rapids. Um, it's really cool. It's a really well themed queue once you get out of the sun. Okay, oh, hello. We met Mickey and Minnie. It, w it took us a little longer than I would have hoped. Kevin's out here too. Unfortunately, Kevin does not count for our ride-alongs. However, when I, oh, that's Asia. I'm turned around. I'm thinking of Moana. Okay, I need to go this way. So while I, after I tapped in for Mickey and Minnie, I grabbed a lightning lane for Dinosaur just because I'm fairly close to it. It was for right now. The only lightning lanes that are not available for, oh, Hello. The only lightning names that are not available pretty much immediately is Cali River Rapids and I don't love Cali River Rapids to be honest with you. If you've been around for a while you know. So I'm going to avoid that for a while. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna avoid Cali for just a little while just out of honestly out of we've had a tough morning and I don't want to do that to myself. That's why. Also, it's only down to like one o'clock or so. It's not super far out. If it looks like it starts to get further and further, I will go ahead and grab one. But for now, let's go ride Dinosaur. I need something good and fun. Mickey was Mickey and Minnie were good and fun. We had a good combo about Kermit. Right, finally made it over to Dinosaur. If you've never been on Dinosaur, I think it's a really fun dark ride that takes you back into the past. However, not everyone thinks it's that fun. It can be a little bit scary, a little bit jarring. It is one of the only Walt Disney World rides that has a warning outside, so it's, a, it's interesting. It's definitely a divisive conversation, however, I love it. So just be prepared for some flashing lights, some scary sounds, some jump scares, you know, arguably scariest ride in Disney World. However, I am excited. I'm going to skip this 55 minute line and go ahead and hop on. dinosaur it was so fun it was so good now I'm gonna try to see if there are any times for the characters that are in this area or to look at um, Triceratops spin because Quincy and I agreed whenever she gets off of Cali River Rapids we'll just have lunch then um, but I don't know how long that will be or where she's at I've not heard from her so that could be anything 
we'll see. I see Donald and Daisy walking out together. They're back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop in Donald's line because that one gets pretty long and it doesn't look too bad right now. So even if I only do Donald, that's still better than nothing because his line can get crazy. So hopefully I can make it through. Eh, it looks pretty long. I'm gonna do Daisy and Chippendale. Hopefully I can get those three rather than spending all of my time on Donald and I can come back for Donald later or we'll just see. Animal Kingdom has been a wild place today. <laughs> wild. <laughs> Sorry. Hi Daisy, looking fabulous as always. Did you design this today? Of course. Oh, here's all of your designs. Oh, you did everyone's here. They're really nice. Which one's your favorite? Yours, of course. <laughs> So we do have a mandatory lunch break. I'm gonna have to meet up for mandatory lunch uh, and dinner maybe, although I think not today because Animal Kingdom closes at seven today. So dinner time will be after. So I, we only have a mandatory lunch break today. And it just means that Emma and I have to meet up at the same time. We decided on noon at Satuli Canteen. And the reason we're doing this is one, so that Emma and I eat, because a lot of time in these ride challenges, we forget to eat and that's not good. And two, um, so that we both have to contend with the scheduling conflict, which is something that you really will have to contend with. You need to eat. You might have a dining reservation. And this way, we actually have to contend with, oh, we have to get somewhere at a certain time. Now I'm actually a little bit early, which is a bit of a bummer because I don't really have time to fit in anything else. Um, so I think what I'm gonna cram in is grabbing myself a coffee to have with lunch because I have not had coffee and I'm starting to get a headache. And yes, I do have a caffeine dependency. Why do you ask? All right, coffee acquired. I've got mine. I also got Emma one because I know what she wants and I'm sure she has only had her morning coffee this morning. So hopefully she will like that surprise as a peace offering during lunch. I can't walk and carry both of these at the same time, but going to Satuli. I met with Daisy and it was great timing because as I was going to meet with her, Quincy said she hopped off of uh, Cali River Rapids. So we're gonna go to Satuli Canteen because that's the best place to eat in Animal Kingdom by far. So we're gonna head over that way and have a little lunch break together. Look who I found. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Oh, did you want to high five? No, I was doing that too, but we can high five. <laughs> I brought her her coffee. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, we haven't talked a lot, but it's been a morning. So yeah. We'll get into it. We'll get it. We'll talk about it and then we'll see it, what she means. I'm still soaking wet from Cali River Rapids. I'm gonna go watch Feathered Friends in Flight. You're telling me your plans. I kind of selfishly hope we could watch a show together. I I don't like spending not time with you. I have to go do something else, but I actually am headed to Feathered Friends in Flight, and I think I can make it. Okay. I can do it. Okay. Bye. This is where things get dicey. Our lunch break was about an hour, which means we're in the window for my flight of passage. Feathered Friends in Flight is at 1.30. Finding Nemo is at 2.30. That's my plan is to do Feathered Friends in Flight and Finding Nemo, and then start to do some of the other stuff that closes earlier than the rest of the parks. The problem is, and I did think this might happen, but I did it anyway, which is a silly goose move, is that my flight of passage lightning lane is at 12.50. So it's already happened, and there's a window, an hour long window to return with a 15 minute grace period. So I'm heading, ooh, it's a 120 minute wait. Ooh, boy. But I'm headed to do flight of passage, and then I'm gonna head on to Feathered Friends in Flight and hopefully make it. Crash your fingers. Maybe I shouldn't have told her I was going to Feathered Friends in Flight, but I just, I don't know. We did not want lunch to end because we were having such a good time together and that has nothing to do with this challenge. So, okay, I need to focus. So I'm gonna go watch Feathered Friends in Flight. There's a show starting in about 10 minutes and then I need to go do Finding Nemo, the musical, because the shows are about to end. And if I don't see those last two, I will miss those opportunities. So here we go. Now I will say, I have no, there's no question in my mind if I'm going to be able to finish everything today. There might be a character or two we don't make it to, um, but I know I'll be able to finish everything. I'm not concerned about that. Honestly, my biggest concern is how quickly we can get through this. Um, we're not doing rerides today, but I think my one hour wait for a flight of passage and then my one hour wait for Moana just really started me off on a bad foot. So I don't necessarily know if I can make up for that time. And honestly, the shows are pretty long, but they're a great time to kind of cool down, grab some AC, sit in a seat, you know, just take a, take a break. And honestly, I think that'll be nice after our tough morning we've all had together. 
130 minute wait time on the standby. That's wild. I'm going to the lightning lane. Uh, this is the one thing I paid for, $14 to do this. So not too shabby. Of course that will add up with the rest of your family, but I think you can see how easy it made by morning to just not have to ride this and not have to wait on it. And now I'm skipping an 130 minute wait to ride it. Now, one thing to note about Five of Passage is even if you see that super, super, super long line that winds all the way through Pandora in the morning is probably shorter than it will be later. You can believe that wait time here a lot of the time. The line might look a lot physically shorter later in the day, but in truth, it's actually a lot, 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 lot longer because once the queue fills in in the morning, the line will look physically shorter. And then also the lightning lane at this attraction makes the standby queue move very, very slowly. So that's kind of what's happening here. If you haven't seen Feathered Friends in Flight, it's a really incredible show where trainers here at Animal Kingdom teach you about all the things that they've taught the birds that live here and give you some info too. It's a lot of fun and really, really neat. Okay, I'm off Flight of Passage and exiting. I went relatively quickly. The uh, lightning lane was a little backed up, but it was still only like six minutes compared to 130. So I think a good use of $14 in my opinion. I kind of like to think of like, how much am I paying for a park ticket? How much is my time worth in Disney World? And it's kind of like, it's $14, 130 minutes, probably pretty good. Now, there are other ways of doing it if you don't want to spend the money, but I'm happy with my decision today. So hopefully I can catch Feathered Friends in Flight, which I am cutting it close. All right, now Feathered Friends in Flight is pretty much across the park. In fact, it might have been faster for me to go the other way, but I'm kind of committed now. Feathered Friends in Flight is the easiest to walk up to right when it's starting. And I recommend you do because it's an amazing show. So if you see it starting while you're walking by, pop on in. Um, that's what I'm gonna try to do right now and hopefully it's not full. But for both Festival of the Lion King, which is right up there by Nemo. You're gonna wanna get there 15 minutes early at the minimum. And in fact, you're even cutting it close there. Festival of the Lion King in particular, 30 minutes. It's gonna be safe. Uh, and the earlier you are, the better your seat's gonna be usually. But I, I definitely, um, you can kinda of see what I mean with Festival of the Lion King here as this line is all the way back out here and the show doesn't even start for 20 more minutes. Now these people will probably get a seat, but for the people showing up 10 minutes in advance, I don't know, it's kind of a toss up, which is why you wanna get there early. Ooh, I definitely took the long way. I made it. I'm, I made it. So interestingly, I got to Feathered Friends in Flight a little late, but as long as half of the show isn't done, it counts as our rule at these challenges. Yeah. And somebody was already there. I was already there, and that's weird. I don't know. It is weird. Part but of me I'm is like- I'm not gonna tell you where I'm going next. I'm not telling you where I'm going next. Okay. I see we're both turning towards this well, way. Well, I have to turn this way to go backwards. So. What does that mean? Turn left to go right. Turn left to go right. What? Does that make any sense? Going to Everest? No. Are you going to Everest? No. All right. I am. I'm just gonna hang out here for a sec. Just limber up. Are you going to Finding Nemo, Big Blue, and Beyond? I'm going to Finding Nemo, Big Blue, and Beyond. All right. This is Finding Nemo, Big Blue, and Beyond. This is a Broadway-style stage show, complete with original music, uh, larger-than-life puppets, and some amazing performers, including our friends, the Broadway Bradshaws, who you might remember from the channel a while ago. Um, they are in the show as well, playing a variety of characters depending on when you see them or if you see them. But uh, I love this show. It is a little over 20 minutes. It's in the air conditioning with seats that have backs. And uh, it's a very, very good show that does make me cry. And that's fine. But uh, we're gonna pop a squat and watch Finding Nemo Big Blue and Beyond together. Because together, friendship, friendship, we him together. <laughs> Oh, well, a Nemo here. song, yeah. Yeah, uh, Friendship and Finding Nemo, 
be any competition. Okay, I'm, I am no longer being secretive because I don't think our plans will match up anymore. I'm going to the Wildlife Express to head to Rafiki's <laughs> I need you to know. I, I just saw said you, that on camera. I saw your face turn in camera. And I was like, oh my gosh, she is going to. I just, I'm not even kidding. Like when we were not standing together, when you, okay, she had to go back and she left something in the theater, so she went back. When you were back there, I literally was like on camera. I think I have to watch all the shows right now. Okay, wait, wait. Sorry. I'm just gonna turn this off. I have to, to do the shows. I'm pretty much gonna have to do all of the shows right now. Okay. So we just missed the train. The train comes every five minutes, so it's not yeah. that big of a the deal. The train's not the issue. Yeah, we're running a little bit behind. We are missing right now at 3.15. We probably will not get into the 3.15 animation class. No. We're gonna try, because again, if you're there for half the class, it counts. it counts, but I don't know if they'll let us. Yeah. There's another one at four, and you're doing all the shows right now too. The last Lion King, which is our last show, is at five. And you have to get there early for Lion King. So, everyone mind your business. And it's a 25 minute mind my business. I said everyone, I'm trying to. Mind our business. We know that this is leveling the competition a little bit because we're both going through the same inconvenience here. So, I've not told you anything about my day so far, but I hope this levels things out. We made it. We did make it. The train we're ride here. took a little long and we're now in a crowd. Yeah. But, but it's 3.30. So we're going to have just enough time to like pet some animals, hang out. Oh, before we head into the animation class. And then animation class. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. yeah. This yeah, is weird we're working okay. together, but there's no point in not. Yeah, that's kind of my opinion. Because like right we both now. have to do this right now. And if yeah. we can help each other get through this, then we can both get back on our grind. And you know what? I'll say it. I'd rather support you and lose than not work together. Me too. I really mean that actually. This makes my day better. It does make my day better too. We're at Rafiki's Planet Watch, <laughs> uh, which is kind of the hidden land of Animal Kingdom because it is about a mile from the rest of the park. You do have to take the train to get here. It's the only way to get here. There's actually some really cool stuff out here and I do recommend coming out here. It's a great way to escape from the crowds as well. Uh, one, there's this whole inside part which we'll go in in a second, but we've also got an attraction out here which your kiddos might love. This is the affection section, which is a petting zoo. That's a goat. Goat. Right there, goat. Goat. Right there, goat. Goat right there. Goat? Right there. Right there. You know what type of goat this is? Goat. It's a right there goat. So we're waiting for our show to start, but one thing you know is that all through the building at Rafiki's Planet Watch are more animal exhibits. There's a lot of like reptile exhibits. There's bug exhibits. I'm as scared of them. Um, perhaps the coolest exhibit here is there is a veterinary exhibit, which is an actual working veterinary lab. And sometimes if you come in here, one of the animals will be getting a procedure done and you can actually see it happening in this window. You can literally just look in and see animals getting x-rays and things like that, which is so cool. Learn a lot about animal health. Um, and then you can see some of the cast members working on animal behavior and different science studies and things like that. Uh, literally every day in here, you just come in here. We drew Todd. I call mine Todd, because I don't know if you can really tell. I don't know that enough people know enough about what Todd looks like for them to question you. That's true. He's just a little cross-eyed. That's okay. But so is mine. Yeah, it's not. Yours Maybe is... Todd is a little cross-eyed. Maybe that's just how Todd is. It's been a while since I've seen the movie. Yeah, that's true. Maybe so he Todd could look this way and I just don't know it. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, Festival of Lion King is probably the show you want to arrive the earliest for. Uh, it does tend to have a really, really long line and a lot of times if you don't get there early enough, you'll get turned away at the theater because it's full. So we'll see if that happens to us right now. If it does, at least we're both missing it together. Um, but we both have to try because got to get our numbers up. All right, we have barely made it, but we are here for the last showing at Festival of the Lion King today. If you haven't seen this one, it is a festival about the Lion King. Wow. Yeah, I know. Isn't that shocking? I'm shocked. It's really good. It is honestly, I think, one of the best live performances in Disney World. Some in this room disagree, but... We're outside. <laughs> some in this park disagree with me, Ooh. but I, I don't know. I, I, won't, I won't get into it. 
but the singing is incredible. You hear a lot of your favorite songs from The Lion King, and you might even see Simba, Timon and Pumbaa. I don't know. And confirmed we're getting in because they're loading our part of the line already. There we go. So this is it for us. I've had the yeah. most lovely few hours with you. How do you know we're not going the same way? I just know. I also I know. kind of know. I feel like, I don't know, you might do what I'm about to do. I don't know if you've done the thing I'm doing now. Yet. You don't know about something that I know about though. So. Oh no! So what was the thing that Quincy didn't know? It's that my lightning lane for Callie ends um, right now. I have my grace period, which I'm utilizing. I'm running to it, you know, Disney walk, fast walk. And then I have another lightning lane for Kilimanjaro Safaris. We're in a race to the finish. We have an hour and a half until the park closes. And to be totally honest with you, I am sweating because I have a lot left to do. I know for a fact I'm not gonna finish meeting Chippendale, which is what I'm assuming she is gonna be over there doing. And that's two things I'm not getting on my list. So I'm not feeling great. Um, I don't know where Emma's going. I really expect her to go the same way as me, but I am doing something very, very dicey right now. Chip and Dale finished meeting for the day at 5.40, according to the My Disney Experience app. It's like 5.32. I don't know how much hope there is in making it over there. I think this is faster. But I am gonna try, because Chip and Dale together are two points, two of them two points so it's funny how much like lower the count is in Animal Kingdom because the day ends so much earlier and there's so many long shows 30 minute shows that like it really eats up your whole day makes it hard to do everything now that said if you're not trying to do everything in Animal Kingdom you might have a bit easier of a time maybe you don't need to be Moana maybe you don't need to draw Todd the Fox See if we can make it to Chippendale. Okay, we made it over here well within our grace period. We're actually only one minute late to Cali River Rapids. It's a white water rafting adventure. You will get wet. I don't like this one for that reason, but it's a fan favorite. So if you don't mind getting a little wet in Disney World, then you'll enjoy it. I can see Donald leaving right now. Let's find out the Chippendale sitch. So to find Chippendale, uh, their meet and greet, you're gonna wanna head back down towards Dinosaur and turn up this trail where you'll see kind of just this. This is Daisy. <laughs> They're just around the corner to see them today. That sounds like Chippendale. It is 540. So we've made it. And it doesn't look like they've cut off the line. I'm gonna get Chippendale. <laughs> That was not the worst Cali experience I ever had. It actually wasn't that bad. Really only my back got wet. And so I'll take it. I'm pleased with that. I will say, I have Expedition Everest left, um, which very candidly, I did miss my lightning lane for because I got trapped in shows and sometimes that happens. Luckily there is a single rider for Everest. So I'm gonna go do the single rider for Everest. I have Triceratops spin left. Donald is still doing a meet and greet for like a little less than an hour. And then I have Kilimanjaro Safaris and Top to Be a Bug. Now I do have a Kilimanjaro Safari Lightning Lane. However, 
that is a long ride. It's a long experience. I can get a lot more done and like give up and sacrifice Kilimanjaro safaris rather than just get one really like kind of showy ride. It's one of the bigger rides here. I hate to miss it, but this is about numbers. So I'm going for numbers. Made it over to Expedition Everest. It is showing a 25 minute wait. We are going to hop in the single rider line, which is open right now, I can see it. It is not always open, but I do think it is the best functioning single rider line in Disney World. And you can get through that thing fairly quickly um, on a usual day. I won't guarantee it, but nine times out of 10, it works really well. So if you're willing to kind of split up your parties, uh, it could be a great way to get through a pretty busy line. But for me, I'm luckily alone today. Okay, it's 10 past and still no Chippendale when they were supposed to come out. So now I'm getting nervous, the photographer just walked away. I also can't spend too much time here because I still have a lot to do to be able to finish the complete list by seven. Expedition Everest is one of my favorite roller coasters in Disney World. It goes backwards, there's a Yeti, uh, there's a big drop. There's not many things that you can say is wrong with this ride other than the fact that Betty the Yeti doesn't fully work. Love it though, so much fun. And I'm super glad that I did single rider because it shoots you through that line. It's really helpful. Um, now, 40 minutes until the park closes. Dun, dun, dun. Donald is meeting for another 30. I'm gonna go hop in line for Donald, hopefully get through that line, Triceratops spin, tough to be a bug. If we made it to Kilimanjaro Safaris, that'd be a miracle, but also it tends to close before the park does. So that's okay. We probably will not make it. And you know that we tried hard. I know that we tried hard. It's okay. No chip and ale. Daisy's right here with no weight. I'm gonna grab her. But that's two points we just lost because they didn't come out and I waited till the last to see them. Okay, I walked right up and met Daisy, which is great. Literally, there was no one in line for her. Um, I hear Donald's out and Donald's out a bunch. Uh, and I'm no longer time constrained because chip and ale didn't come out. And they were my last time constraint because otherwise I have Triceratops spin, which is right here an Expedition Everest, and it's tough to be a bug. And those are open until the park closes. So I might just grab Donald just for just to be safe. He's also got a long line. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna hop in line for Donald. So I'm, I'm here to meet Donald. You're never gonna guess who's meeting him right now. It's a redhead that we all know and love. And she wears really cute clothes, and she hugs Donald really well. And I need to get in line but I just want to surprise her. Because <laughs> at this point, I think I can do what I need to do here. Are you Miss Quincy? <laughs> You're so scary. Thank you, I've been told that. I love that duck. <laughs> I literally just said she's so good at hugging Donald. She wears really pretty clothes. <laughs> I am good at hugging Donald. You are, you, I got it on camera. There's nobody I love more than Donald Duck. Okay. All right, I'm in good shape. Depending on how much Emma has done, I don't know. But I know that I'm gonna be able to finish everything available to me. It's just a big bummer we didn't get Chippendale as they were definitely two points we could have gotten earlier. Um, and I definitely made it to them. So that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. That's what the game is. Uh, but Triceratops spin is right here. This one typically does not have a long wait. As you can see, it's just kind of a pick you up, spin your round ride like Dumbo. And uh, it is a very short wait. So I'm gonna hop in line for this. All right, I am actively on Tracer and I'm spin. I can see Emma in line. <laughs> um, they just announced that a weather front is approaching. It looks okay, but if there's lightning in like a mile's radius, they will close. Oh, look, it's Donald. They will close uh, Everest. So I'm gonna end Expedition Everest after this, even though it's further from its stuff to be a bug, just to make sure we get it without it closing for weather. Oh, there's the weather, it's over here. Hello, Donald. Do you know I got to see Daisy today and she told me she made your outfit. She looked gorgeous. My hard eyes would go too if I saw Daisy. She looked incredible. And she and I took a pretty good photo together. Do you think you and I could take a better one? I don't know, she looks pretty good, but you look good too. <laughs> okay, we met Donald. Now the two main goals I have left today are Triceratops spin and tough to be a bug. 
Kilimanjaro, she's out the window. I love you, but I'm sorry. We only have 30 minutes left. Hopefully I can zoom through this before the rain starts, which is not a guarantee, and then make it tough to be a bug. Fingers crossed. Heading through Dino Land up to uh, Expedition Everest. I was thinking about maybe ending on Everest, but with that weather, we need to go get on Everest ASAP to make sure it doesn't close because that could be bad. It might not reopen. There's only 35 minutes left in the park day. The thing about Animal Kingdom, closes early. That park close will sneak up on you. Uh, the thing about Everest is that even though it is one of the most popular rides in the park, I would say one of the top three for sure, along with Flight of Passage and uh, Kilimanjaro Safaris, it has a very high capacity. It moves a lot of people through it very, 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 very quickly said very too many times. I'm kind of tired. Um, so it moves a lot of people through very quickly. And because of that, the wait isn't typically as long as those other more popular attractions. Uh, today I've looked and I've seen it at 45, but that was the highest. And typically it's been around 25 or 30. The thing about Everest is that it has a single rider line as well, which means as long as it's open, I can sort of bypass the regular line by hopping in that single rider line. And that is not something you have to be a single party to do. If your family is willing and able to break up, if you've got, you know, mostly adults or older kiddos who are okay riding alone, then you can wait in the single rider line and get on a whole lot faster here at Everest. One thing I will caution is if you do have someone who's a little hesitant about roller coasters, Everest is a pretty intense roller coaster. It's dark at times, goes backwards. So you are definitely gonna want to make sure that those people are with somebody if they do choose to ride and not put them in the single rider line. All right, here we are. I've finally overcome my fears and I can kind of enjoy these now. We did it, we only have one lane left to go and it's not raining yet. I don't wanna jinx it though. It looks like Everest is only a posted 20 minute wait, which is pretty darn close to a walk on. Uh, I still am gonna get in the single rider line if it is open, just because uh, saved me a little bit of time and we are getting close to the end of the night here. Single rider line is open. There's literally no one in the single rider line, so I am gonna be walking right up to the train. Everest, done. Saw Yeti, crazy that those are a thing. Um, I only have one more attraction. It is 6.36, so I have 25 minutes to get on its stuff to be a bug. And that one can't be affected by weather. So at this point, I'm feeling good. Gonna get my bug on, and then Hopefully, Emma didn't get Chippendale or didn't get something. I don't know, I think it's gonna be close because we both spent a lot of time in shows today. Okay, I made it just in time. I have a few minutes to spare. I'm here for It's Tough to Be a Bug. It says it's a 15 minute wait, but that doesn't matter. As long as I'm in line, they have to let me see how hard it is to be a bug. Okay, I made it to It's Tough to Be, oh my gosh. I made it to It's Tough to Be a Bug, apparently right after somebody else did, because she's right in front of me. I assume she's telling you about it's tough to be a bug, so I won't. I'm gonna scare her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike fear into her bones. And if you don't know what this show is, that's exactly what it is. It teaches you about the plight of bugs and how hard it is to be one and how much we need them. Now I will say, I like this show. I think it's very fun, very kitschy. However, there's some dark scenes. There's some bugs that kind of come down from the ceiling. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Scary to be a bug, ain't it? No, I was just telling them like, sometimes there's things that drop from the ceiling. What they didn't know and what I didn't know until right now is actually the scariest part of the show is when Quincy scares you from behind. Yeah, which I will do if you're waiting in line. That was, my I'm sweating, I have to turn the camera off. It's the final attraction. I was walking all the way to the end, but no one's in a row. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. I missed my chair. I was like, why is it so wet? And then I remembered. It's because it's tough to be a bug. Well, I don't know if you've heard about the flight of bugs, but it's pretty it's tough. It's pretty tough. All right, we did find out how tough it is to be a bug and an amphibian. Yeah, I'm but sorry, you guys. But we have to say our results now. Yeah, okay. Do you want to do it at the same time? Yeah, three, two, one, 18. 19. <gasps> okay. Oh, okay. Gosh, so no. close. It was so close. And what's 
crazy is I thought you were going to wipe me away because the morning I had was horrendous. I miss Chippendale. That's a lot of stuff. I'm okay with that. And I did, if I would have seen Chippendale, I would have done everything in Animal Kingdom in one day. Yeah. For sure, no doubt. So it's doable. Literally yeah. everything. All and the characters, all the shows, all the rides. And we took a long lunch too. We did take a long lunch. That's yeah. true. We with took that, an hour long lunch. I was going to say, without that lunch, you definitely would have done that. And I mm -hmm. honestly probably would have gotten close. Yeah. So I'm so very So it's doable. Pleased. You can definitely do literally everything in Animal Kingdom in one day if you're lucky yeah. and you play your cards right. Yeah. All right, friends. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And now now go watch Emma and Fry go head to head in a rides race in Hollywood Studios. I'll we'll see, see you there. there. Bye.